Hello and welcome. Today we'll be taking a look at making staircases out of pistons, and since that's such a simple concept to wrap your mind around, I've also added a somewhat interesting circuit to make it more worthwhile. So, um, basically, I just have stairs set up, and this is very good for PvE if you have an open environment where mobs might be able to get in, or if you have it hidden in PvP, it might be useful as well, but mostly for PvE, it's kind of fun and has an interesting effect to it. And so, uh, one of the problems with this sort of thing is how you're going to activate the stairs, because right now, it's fine if you want it only one way, but I like to have my stuff be two-way, so that I can open and close the stairs from one, you know, either location, either downstairs or upstairs. And I also didn't want to have to have two buttons this time. Recently I've been doing a lot of videos with two buttons, and I figured it's time I just stopped being lazy and got, uh, got away from that for a video. So I uh, figured this would be a good time to do that, and so I have buttons on the top and bottom, which both toggle the stairs. So if I flip the button now, it opens. And if I flip the button again, it closes. And if I weren't flying, I would be able to climb up the stairs as well. So we can climb up, flip the button on here to close it back up, flip the button to open it back up, and go down. And so uh, the concept's pretty simple. I don't think it needs any more explanation, but um, let's take a look at the redstone. So back here, we have a uh, the temporary input, permanent output sort of system that I uh, showed on my temporary input, permanent output video uh, for pistons. So check that out if you want a better explanation. But basically, right here in this square of two inverters, I'm saving a value on either side. So when this is on, this is going to be off. When this is on, this is going to be off over here. And so uh, it's saving the value that the button is adding. So whenever we press the button, it's saved as on. And then whenever we press the button again, it's going to toggle it off and then save that. And then over here is where our output is going. Because this can be an input or an output. Either one of these can be inputs or outputs. And in fact, they both are in some ways. But our final output, which is going to affect the pistons, is coming out on this side. And this inverter, I mean not inverter, this repeater is only here just to make sure that all the pistons activate at the same time instead of over here, this activating them partially and then this closer bit activating them the rest of the way. I just have that there to make sure they all activate at the same time. But um, our input from this button is coming here and it's meeting up with the input from the button up top as well so that it makes an OR gate so we have either button activating it I just have an inverter here and another inverter here to make sure that the power can go all the way down and meet this up uh, properly so it meets up with this and then we have the power going through two uh, repeaters with their delay set to max so that we can get a uh, nice delay on that so that whenever it comes across here into this AND gate uh, it will make sure that it's going into this AND gate first and won't activate it at the wrong time because it's siphoning power off of this and see okay first the button is going to come down here and activate this side but then also it's going into this AND gate and being one of the inputs for it so we don't want the input activating this at a time when this button is activating that. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but basically you want that delay there so that the times aren't wonky. That is probably a better explanation. No more technical stuff. And then the output is coming through two more delays, pretty much equivalent to that delay to make sure that it doesn't activate it and then immediately deactivate it because that's what would happen if this delay wasn't here it would activate the pistons and then immediately deactivate the pistons or this 
would flip on over on the side and then immediately flip back off and you know that wouldn't be very good because then there wouldn't be a toggle it would just always flip on and then back off immediately so anyway the power is just going up there and then activating the pistons by going right across these blocks and then we get a nice toggle effect on either side so pretty simple concept and what I want to do now is just um, throw out a couple interesting things that are completely unrelated now that uh, I've explained pretty much everything to do with that first I've been having some really weird snow now that I've been using this version and it just happens and I get snow and rain in my desert biomes and you know I haven't really left this area and everywhere around there seems to have proper weather but in this area here I'm getting snow in a desert and also rain in the desert too so just a warning I think it might have something to do it's just a hunch but it might have something to do with saving a world in MC edit um, if anyone has any insight into that I would like to hear it but that's just my hunch maybe it has something to do with saving world and MC edit but I'm getting some really weird uh, weather in uh, desert biomes and such and also something I wanted to note is that in this newer version of pistons I've noticed that there are more issues with the way pistons get stuck and in my temporary input permanent output video I showed a way of saving the input making it permanent using pistons as a redstone item so it's literally incorporating pistons into the redstone circuitry now the problem is whenever the piston comes out it's now in the newer versions going to get stuck because the redstone is powering the wire so if you haven't seen it take a look if you wanna uh, learn this fix here but basically you just throw a piece of glass in the way that way whenever you push the piston over here whenever you want to reset it the piston won't be touching the redstone afterward because it's going to push this glass so you just hit that other one and then it won't short circuit the wire the dirt will short circuit the wire leading to a permanent power but the glass will not because glass cannot short circuit wires so um, that's a pretty good fix I think it uh, fixes the problem with pistons touching the uh, redstone and doesn't sur short circuit it when it's not needed so I just figured that'd be a good thing to uh, throw out there as well and also if uh, you take a look at this sort of things in my older videos now that the new pistons are rolling out you may want to know that delays are going to be a bit different maybe a bit longer than I have uh, shown in my older videos so if you're looking at my older videos and using newer versions of pistons you may just want to um, be aware that you might have to increase the delays because pistons seem to act faster now than they used to so that's all about uh, that's about it for this video see you next time